brain drain is gradually returning to the medical profession in Ghana as doctors continue to leave the country in droves to seek better job opportunities elsewhere. Thus, the Ghana Medical Association is saying it is worrying. Justice Youngson is a family physician who has worked with the Kolebu Teaching Hospital for 20 years. He has had opportunities to practice in other countries, but he did not show interest. He now feels he should have grabbed any of such opportunities. I've always had opportunities. We decided to stay here. But sometimes you ask yourself, did you take good decisions? Not because... Um, your decision to stay here is a completely no-no, but because sometimes it is so difficult trying to ensure that the minimum adjustments that will have to be done just to cushion people don't seem to happen. And there always has to be back and forth and what have you. He's worried about the working conditions in Ghana. Same reasons that pushed his colleagues to leave the country to see greener pastures elsewhere. My earnings when I was a house officer is basically the same or even more than now that I'm a senior doctor, having practiced for 20 years. So then it's like you're not really making progress in terms of uh, the social aspect. Government has to put its foot down because government has a responsibility towards all of us as a country by way of health care delivery. If we look on own concern for our health professionals to keep moving out of this country, we are going to have a lot of difficulties. The poor working environment coupled with low pay is still pushing many health workers in Ghana to leave their posts and take up positions abroad. There are several ways in which we can help to ensure that at least these doctors stay within country. We know that a lot of people have left, a lot more people have left. We don't have the numbers and a lot more are preparing to leave. But um, I think we'll put together the numbers and we'll officially let everybody know how many doctors are leaving this country. Government has appealed to health workers to stay in the country while it tries to improve their conditions of service. But Dr. Srebo says more needs to be done. Even though we still have areas where there are, we are called we call them one-man stations that still exist within the country which we believe shouldn't be and one of the key things that um, is mitigating against doctors especially going to these private areas accommodation and of course the social amenities that exist there so we have asked the district assemblies to also support once they support with accommodation a lot more doctors can move and then the ministry look at the private area incentives so that people who move there can also have some incentives so that they can stay and enjoy the place just like those who are in Accra and Kumasi do. The Ghana Medical Association has, however, launched an award scheme, Doctors' Award, partnered by MTN Ghana, which will be held on January 4 next year to motivate doctors to stay in the country. The association is also urging government to expedite action in addressing the worsening economic situation in the country to reduce the brain drain in the sector. Godwin Asideba, TV3 News, Accra.